rift grows between Wagner Group and Russia's defense ministry. Yegevni Prigozhin, the owner of the Wagner Group, has said that the Russian Ministry of Defense is lying when it claims that Russian forces on the Bakhmut front have sufficient ammunition. Prigozhin has complained that the Wagner fighters receive less than 20% of ammunition they had been promised. The Russian Ministry of Defense responded to Prigozhin's accusation that it creates obstacles to Wagner Group's ammunition supply, thus starving its soldiers of ammunition. The Ministry of Defense said that Prigozhin was trying to create a rift between different Russian units, which plays to the Ukrainian forces' advantage. None of the statements made allegedly on behalf of assault units about the lack of ammunition correspond to reality. Between the 18th and 20th of February alone, volunteers from assault units were given 1,660 rockets for multiple launch rocket systems, 10,171 shells for large caliber artillery and mortar bombs, 980 projectiles, for tank guns. Prigozhin responded saying that Wagner fighters have not received 80% of the promised ammunition. He added that there were no volunteers, only Wagner group fighters on the Bakhmut front. Prigozhin claimed that the Russian defense ministry has failed to supply Wagner fighters even with sapper shovels. The defense ministry's claims are an insult to the Wagner group and an attempt to cover up their crimes before those fighters who are performing a heroic feat in Bakhmut. The Wagner private military company does not receive 80% of the ammunition it needs to carry out combat missions. If you want to give us ammunition, give it to us. Don't just go telling lies about to the Russian people in the media. In contrast to the Russian Defense Ministry and its claims, I'm prepared to submit all relevant documents, including the requests for ammunition submitted and the reports concerning the amount received to a military prosecutor's office or counterintelligence. Up to you. On the 9th of February, Prigozhin announced that the recruitment of convicts to the Wagner Group had been halted without, however, explaining what caused this decision. Later on, he named three main reasons why he had stopped recruiting convicts in Russian prisons. One of the reasons was the opposition of the Russian military leadership. On the 18th of February, the Institute for the Study of War reported that Chechen rebel leader Ramzan Kadyrov had rejected overtures from Prigozhin to join a renewed informational campaign against the Russian Ministry of Defense.